Hello everyone. In this demo video, we will be looking at the constraints. Constraints are the predefined parameter for any strategy or for any desired outcome. Selecting on constraint here, you can see two sections. First one is one lot and the second one is defined capital. First, we will look into one lot. In one lot, here you can define your risk in percentage term with respect to the capital employed. By default it is on 50, you can select as per your accordance. Then you have the evaluation parameters. In evaluation parameter, you can define your maximum expiry. You can also select 2 or 3 expiries for your strategy. In maximum expiry, you can evaluate your strategy for the maximum expiry. Suppose if you take 2 then your strategy will come accordingly then you have minimum return on investment here you can define your minimum return on the investment in the percentage term suppose if you want to have 5% of return on your strategy you can select 5 then you have multiple for call spread and multiple for back ratio spread ratio spread is buying a call option and selling two call option with the highest strike price and Whereas back ratio spread is buying a put option and selling two put option of lower strike price. Here you can select as per your accordance. Then you can filter the strategies. Here you can select the optimal reward to risk, absolute profit or based on the ROI. The optimal is defined by the concept proprietary. Optimal is the combination of all three filters that is reward to risk, absolute profit and ROI. As of now we will select optimal. Moving to data, this filter helps the algorithm to select the price based on bid ask spread, last trading price and the closing price. You can select as per your accordance. Now we will move to the defined capital. We will select defined capital. Here you can define your capital and risk in the amount term. Here you can select capital and select the amount you want. Suppose I have the capital of 10 lakhs and the maximum risk I can take is 2 lakhs. Now here you can save the entered capital and the entered risk. You can also turn it off. Now we will move to the forecast. The forecast section is self-explanatory so we will move to the outcome in outcome you can select the maximum lag strategies that the maximum lag you want to have in the strategy and the maximum output the maximum output is five so it will give the maximum five strategies for your selected inputs then you can save the data as we can see the constraint settings have saved successfully thank you